Holy fucking shit. We just watched episode four of Black Bullet and it was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> What was that? It's pretty tense. <laughs> it was probably one of the most entertaining 22 minutes that I have experienced in a long time. What are your thoughts, Victor? Share with me. <laughs> At first, I was really disappointed because the bad guy pretty much got axe kicked in the face and it was really easy. And I was like, wow, he turned out to be kind of a bitch. And then they completely just disregarded all of that shit and went in an entirely different direction. We're like, oh, this, this real shit's happening over here. This face right now, this was my face the whole episode. Victor was sitting here going, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Like, like oh, oh my god. <laughs> this show understands uh, a certain kind of characterization that hasn't been done for a while, or at least it hasn't been done as much. It's not as popular as it used to be, mm. which is um, instead of like backstory or like, you know, or, or character arcs, you can make a character awesome just by making them as badass as humanly yeah, possible. Yeah, pretty much. Because <laughs> the main character, he just like... He rips off his own arm! <laughs> He's like, there's no missiles! My arm is now the missile! You can't here. talk that loud, you're gonna clip all I the I can audio. talk as loud as I want. <laughs> oh, man. It was like, right from the get-go. Like, okay, so this, the episode starts, and it's like... The one dude who is, like, the asshole is dead with a huge fucking sword in his back. They start fighting the main bad guy dude, and then the main character's like, Oh, I'm actually a fucking superhuman, like, uh. his clothes explode off, and he's got, like, the metal arm and leg, and they have this fucking intense-ass Yelling fight. Yelling out his attacks. And he ostensibly kills the bad guy, but the fact that it was done with so little fanfare means to me he's gonna yeah. be back. His face was pretty crushed in. They they know. wouldn't. I don't think they just waste was a villain weird. like that. He and was just on, all of a sudden a huge pussy. He's even on though he like was the art for the show. So intimidating. Before. It wasn't that he was a huge pussy. So the main character turned out to be yeah. way because they were both from know. the same project. Really you know, like they were both from the uh, yeah. the human weapon project or whatever, and they didn't know that about the main guy. And then he beats the shit out of him. Yeah. I think he's gonna be back. I, I think it's gonna be face. some uh, some JoJo shit like Dio Brando. He's uh. gonna fall into the ocean now. But then he'll be back before yeah. you know it. Name then girl. a fucking kaiju yep. appears. Some Pacific Rim <laughs> level five kaiju. And they're like, "Oh shit, we have to kill it. We need a you know, the, the cannons out There's of ammo. Just this big gun you gotta over tear there. Your Go fucking use arm the off gun. and use your arm as the bullet." And Nobody then, told him to do that. He just he just thought it would work. He was like, of, my arm is made as of As long things. as it's made of super veranium, it'll be okay. I'll just throw my arm in there because that's a bullet. That makes sense. And then they're like, oh, we don't have time for the for us to do it from here. And it shoots a laser beam ever. anyways. So it's like, oh, I don't know what how bullets work anymore. And then the thing fucking explodes and its <sighs> body parts are everywhere. And then to top it off, there's the little girl... <laughs> And she's uh, dying, and no. it's like, the one who they, like, just established as a character in the last episode, super and now she's dying, depressing. and she gives, like, this speech, and she's like, uh, you don't have many friends, do you? I'll be your friend. <laughs> like, knowing that he's about to have to kill her, let me die as a human, and he fucking shoots her in the face. Her fucking Akira Bob oh spewing God. out of her arm. It's, it was it's just amazing. perfect. The whole thing was perfect. It was exciting. It's energetic. Shit kept happening. How do you go four episodes and have this much shit happen? Yeah. Like, not. And the monster I've was never been by bored. A tricycle. I have never been bored. It sets up. Yeah, even though it's like a climactic episode, it still sets up stuff for the next episode. Yeah. They still took the time to. Because that means we don't have to start off the next episode and with them going, oh, here's our next mission. We already have it. She's like, you have to rise up the yeah. ranks and get badass. It and felt like the end of the first season of something. Like, with hints at a second season, but it's only episode four. The whole show, <laughs> I, as I said, it's like watching one of those fake trailers for some kind of, like, ridiculous over-the-top movie where it's just a bunch of crazy shit happening. This whole show is that. Just crazy shit. It's like, take the highlights from any other show, and, and this is it, you know? <laughs> Which, in my opinion, if you're gonna do an action show, like a stupid action show, this is how to do it. Because you're never going to have an intelligent, 
thought out plot in a show that's just about action and giant monsters and, and fighting and shit, you know? Mm-hmm. And anytime a movie or a show tries to have like a, an emphasis on storyline, but the story's not interesting, you're just watching it for the action, then it doesn't work. That's why everyone loves The Raid Redemption, because that movie doesn't care about like its yes. its plot. It was like, okay, here's enough to get you invested. Now here's shitloads of action for you know an hour and a half. And that's what this show does. It's just constant fucking awesome shit. I don't care about why. It, it, it's awesome. It gives me just enough to go on that I don't feel like I'm lost or confused, you know. It's brilliant. I love it. 10 out of 10. Pretty good. No. But I'll say, pretty good. for now, the show is definitely... If it, if it can have more moments that are this amazing, like more episodes that can top this one, it could be like... A 9 out of 10 for me. Like, it's good. if it keeps doing that. It's worth so, a watch. Definitely. It's like, are you bored with my life? My face hurts watch from like smiling college. too much. I'm not joking. My face is in pain from smiling for 22 minutes. 